asked what you'd like to see digested, and somebody suggested baby food. Luckily, my friend the stork happens to be dropping some off right now. We've got some samples of banana, green beans, sweet potatoes, and everybody's favorite, pumpkin. At the same time, we're going to digest all these samples in the same run. So let's begin by dispensing about five grams, and that's right, I said five grams of the samples into the digestion vessel. Now we're going to get our acid mixture, which is a mixture of nitric, HCl, peroxide, and diluted with a little bit of water. It's going to be about 5 mLs. We'll add that to each of our digestion vessels. Now that we've got all our samples weighed out, let's cap them off place them into the turntable, and then we'll head over to the microwave to start the digestion process. Put them all into the turntable. Bring our samples over to the microwave system. Open the door. Turntable of samples inside the cavity. Load the method and press start to start the digestion process. While the samples are digesting, the first documented infant formula was created by Henri Nestle in 1867, which was a powdered milk formula. By the early 20s, baby foods had grown to include ready-made baby cereals, fruits, and vegetables, but they were expensive and were only sold in pharmacies. In 1928, Daniel Gerber improved and streamlined the process for straining vegetables for baby foods. Baby food began to be sold in grocery stores at significantly lower prices, which led to substantial growth of baby food sales. The famous Gerber baby debuted in 1929. Her name was Ann Turner Cook, and the baby sketch was adopted as the official company trademark in 1931. Ann celebrated her 90th birthday in 2016. Today, all food companies test products in accordance with the 2011 FDA Food Safety Modernization Act. Typical analytical procedures follow AOAC-approved methodologies. In order to achieve a more representative sample, the sample size needs to be as large as possible, which is why we ran a 5-gram sample for this test. Our sample is now completed, and we'll bring it over to the hood and see what we have. As you can see, we have a clear, colorless liquid. So, can we digest baby food? Yes, we can! <laughs>